you wait and time passes. And if everybody knows where that line came from, which game that came from, let me know because that's going to be an impressive bit of knowledge. Welcome to Genshin Impact. Thank you for joining me today. We're waiting until uh, the quest here because I want to be able to meet Carmen. Oh, so are you kidding me? Before, what? Be quite the feast for sure. Ooh, and Hold on. Okay, so what was that warning that just came up? I can't do it. Hold on. The quest location is currently involved in other quests. Please see the details. I want to continue <laughs> with the new uh, Liwei um, an Adeptal Summons. What's this one? Are you... Oh, what? I've... Okay, so hold on. I... Okay. Let's, let's all calm down. Let's start again. <laughs> this is a, a, a jumbled uh, intro. So I want to carry on with the uh, the new quest um, involving Garming, which is uh, which one? Okay, yeah. So I want to do this one. This is the uh, the second part of the Garming help the Time Gate one. This is the, the Lantern Right quest or request. Um, but to do this, I have to complete a world quest. This is insane. Okay, Adeptal Summons. I need to do this one. Oh, okay, because this one I had a long time ago. I guess we're going to have to do this. Oh, no. Uh, okay, well, let's go do it then. What, what do we actually have to do? Let's go and have a look. We have to put some sort of dish there, which I may or may not have. Oh, anyway, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, yeah, so the plan is that I was going to bring you one more episode on the Lantern Right, completing the, uh, the Garming sort of story quest that we, we started. I've done part one. I want to do parts two and three. I'm not sure how long they take, whether it would fit them all into the one episode or not. Um, but after that, I kind of, I kind of, I know we've got all this new kind of stuff at the moment, but I really want to go to Sumeru because I've got, I've got Nahida in the last episode and I have various other Sumeru based characters who I want to build and I need to get that stuff from, uh, from Sumeru. So I really want to get on with that kind of quest line and uh, and do that. So I think we're, we're going to just finish up the um, uh, the Lantern Right story quest, and then we're going to move on. Uh, maybe we'll come back to Liyue, uh, the new area, at some point in the future. So what do we have to do? Offer jewelry soup. Okay, do I actually have that? Oh, I do. Who would deserve the tranquility of this adeptus? Ah, oh, it's you. And I see you have also come bearing food again. All right, then speak. Or oh, we have we're having some speedy. Uh, Subtitles again, my favourite. Right, so visit Cloud Retainer. So this is why we have to kind of um, do this quest, I guess, because it is Cloud Retainer, and this quest we've had for ages, I think. So I think we're in here. Is it? I guess we have to go. Yeah, visit the Atlas Abode. Stay with us at once. One has a myriad matters to which one must attend. Waste not valuable time of an adeptus. Just wanted to see how you're doing. Your business is a novel one. You simply came to wish me well, and not to fulfil a wish of some other nature. <clears throat> Very well, so be it. Mortal minds work in mysterious ways. I have no interest in attempting to understand them. Since you are so demonstrably idle at present, would you care to do me a small favour? Once upon a time, when I had made a modest breakthrough in my mechanical studies, I built for myself a dwelling in the clouds suspended in the air. This dwelling in the clouds was built principally from floor strides supported by a multitude of other ingenious features. In fact, its most marvellous features of all was... Never mind, you would not understand even if I explained it. After construction of the dwelling in the clouds was complete, I left the blueprints there. I also added the seal, thinking that one of true affinity with the blueprints might eventually obtain them. But no, to this day, the seal stands. Uh, it now seems a needless bother to me to have the blueprints stored there. Perhaps you could retrieve them from the dwelling in the clouds for me. Uh, sure, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> Naturally, I have my reasons. Please do not presume that you could scrutinise my idea conceived in the mind of an adeptus. Delay no further. Deliver them to my abode when you have found them, for that is where I shall be waiting for you. Okay, oh, she really bother showing a face. Uh, you mean offering one dish is not enough to go to speak? She sure is something, I didn't see. Super speedy subtitles. I just love that about this game. Right, okay, so I guess we, uh, at some point, we need to go in there for the um, the new Lance Wright story quest, so that's why we need to unlock that one. All right, well, I guess we were doing this. Um, it wasn't what I was planning on doing, but 
Let's, let's do it. Let's go all the way at the top here. Um, I'll just take this moment here to remind everyone uh, about my Discord server. Um, if you want to hop in and, and perhaps you know chat about Genshin in there, it's pretty quiet at the moment, so I would love a few more Genshin fans to kind of join me in there, and, and uh, um, that would be pretty cool. So there's a link to it in the description. Feel free to uh, hop on by. Oh, have I, I've been up here before. How did I get up there? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember having a bit of trouble jumping up these things. Hopefully it's not going to be too, too tricky. And then, oh yeah, over here. Go on, you can get up there. Yes, I have been up here before. There we go. These must be the blueprints, the Epsos support. Let's bring them back. Yeah, so I think there was a couple of two or three chests up here that were quite good. So, oh dear, I fell, I fell. Wings. There we go. Right, let's go back then. Okay, let's see if she's going to let us in now. I see you obtained the blueprints, now hand them to me forthwith. Okay, yeah, I'm sure we've been in here before. Uh, do not tarry, haste now and deliver it to me. You have come this... Oh, God, I hate it so much. Okay, let's not complain too much. Let's just keep on going. Uh, reach the target location within 150 seconds. Additional will be time will be granted after each kill. Okay, I see. Right, well, let's get in here and get some vaporize going. It's just the quickest way to, to deal with uh, wet opponents. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, okay, we're heading up in that direction. I'm sure I've done something like this before. Okay, now we need to switch out, actually. Uh, that's not who wanted. There we go. Let's do this. Gotcha. Ah, that's pretty good. Right, so we want to go up that way. Uh, I guess then we maybe want to rotate this. Oh, that's just that. Uh, let's try again. And one more time then, that should be able to get us over to... over to there. That looks like that could be good. And then hopefully we'll be able to do something else. Rotate some other things. What does this one do? Activate wind current. Okay, there's a wind current over there. Uh, okay, uh, we have some electro slimes. Oh, come on. Uh, Oh, there we go. I think they're gone. Did I get extra time for that? I'm not sure. I can't rotate this one. Right, let's go back up here. So, where am I trying to get to? Over there. So, I do want to rotate this one. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is the way that I need to go. We've got two and a half minutes. Come on. Let's get some stamina back. Okay, launch yourselves up this way. Here come the fireworks. Uh, I think I've got them all. Right, so now we're still trying to get over there. Where is this going? So now we want to rotate this one. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess it's over there. It looks like it is kind of showing us which direction to go to. I think we'll be good. So, we can overload that one. That one's not going to do anything. Let's take out this one. Uh, now we want to switch. And it's done. Okay, so now we can hit this. What does this one do? It rotates the middle bit. Okay, that looks like that might take us where we need to go. Oh yeah, that looks like it. Sorted. Plenty of time. 
Yeah, I maybe need to actually make some dedicated effort on, on completing some of these world quests that I've picked up over the over the months I've been playing this. There we go, challenge completed. There she is, in her non-human form. Um, yes, yeah, just, just to kind of make sure that things aren't locked behind quests that I've just kind of left sitting there for a while. Uh, these are indeed the blueprints of my dwelling in the clouds. One is most pleased. You still haven't said what you're gonna... Must you continue to question me? Ah, very well. Considering you did make an offering, one has heard of a certain jade chamber that hangs in the air above the way, built by mortal hands. One has also heard that mortals value size above all else, and have on this basis proceeded to declare that said chamber is without parallel in all the world. Hmm. Such are the limits of mortal comprehension that they fail to fathom the ingenuity of the Adepti. J-Chamber, my foot. A glimpse at the most trivial of my mechanical accomplishments would reveal the J-Chamber to be an utterly tedious and mundane piece of work. Yes, <laughs> Saw loser much? Nonsense, I am no loser, nor am I affiliated with Saws. I merely pity the foolish. These mortals, blind to adept in ingenuity, but dazzled by the crudest of craftsmanship. I fear that this will cause mechanics among mortals to develop a woefully mistaken direction. It falls to me to point them down the right path. Matter at hand is concluded. Leave at once. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right. We, we did it. Let's get out of here. There's nothing. You're not going to give me any super cool chests or anything. No. All right. Let's go. Okay. So hopefully that didn't take too long, and uh, we've got plenty of time to uh, get the other quest done. Hopefully that is it. Looks like it is. So what did I get for that? Oh, that's probably just the commissions, isn't it? Okay, we'll grab those. Right, uh, okay, next up then, let's continue. I should now be able to complete this one. We can. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. Wait, uh... uh you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, is that a thing? Uh, as you talk, Piping Heart dim some dishes, arrive at the table one after another. I'm sure I've seen that some... Didn't Shrek do that? Wasn't that in one of the Shrek things? He drinks it and says, oh, great soup, and everybody else is like washing their, their hands in it. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood con uh, con connoisseur. I'm not sure how you say that. Wow! Oh, look at that. So much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Kanji, thank you for saying that for me. I, I actually don't know if I've ever heard that word. I'm not really much of a seafood eater, to be honest with you. Um, that would be great, thanks. I'd be happy to do it myself. Yeah, he's so kind and does everything. I think, is it, I think he might be at risk of burning out later in life, I think. Yeah, Pyman doesn't care about that. Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Uh, each dish tastes it's exquisite and is uniquely flavorful. Uh, you slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. It's a great way to start a day. Big old meal, pleasant conversation. Uh, this goes on until even Pyman can't eat another bite. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying. It even gave Pyman some extra brain juice. <laughs> Really? Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? <laughs> huh? Yeah. You know Xingqiu? 
You sure know a lot of people. I bet he knows everyone around here. He knows like all their birthdays and what their, their favorite food is. I bet he does. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small-scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Garmin always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible! Yeah, that is sad when people don't support your kind of... the more creative uh, dreams. Uh. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but... Wushou dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. But don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Her tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. Auntie Xian Yun? Auntie's no way to address a mighty and illuminated adeptus. Uh, do you not know who she really is, Gaming? Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It would be such a shame if Just everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! Alright then. We can make some kites. I did buy some kites from the shop to put into the teapot. Um, I haven't done that yet, but um, I'm sure we'll do that at some point. I need to. I'm always out of wood for making furnishings. I never, never collect enough wood when I'm out and about. I need to start chopping down trees and stuff. 
Uh, right, there are so many world quests around here. Uh, well, I'm not going to pick any up just yet though. I don't want my list to get any, any bigger than it already is. We're going to try and tidy that up at some point. Oh wow, we're going to go quite far away. I guess we're going all the way to... Uh, where, no, where are we going? Over this way. Okay. Alright, yep, we can go over there. Let's go up there. Ah, who are we here? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so most people seem to agree with my choice not to go with Yao Yao for my free um, Liyue character, and I went with the Constellation for Zincho. Um, everybody in the comment section seems to think that that was probably the right choice to do, even though Yao Yao is a good, good, uh, good character. Hello, friends. <sighs> She's sleepy. Uh, on you. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. We haven't seen Shenha for ages, actually. The last time we saw her was right, well, near the beginning of one of the um, our conquests in, in Li Wei, I think. What was that monster? Hmm. Apologies in advance. What's she doing? Now you see Shenna take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid and apply it to Ganyu's horns. Yao Yao and Paimon look on in shock, mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. Is this, is this bad to, to do something to someone's horns? Like, I mean, I guess so. <coughs> see? It worked. She's awake. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. <sighs> huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm, the master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Huh. <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never... I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Xianyun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite-flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Who is your best friend? Well... Chi Chi's been oh, super Chi -Chi. busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Oh, so she, yeah, because he's a healer, isn't she? Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. 
so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. That's good. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an <laughs> ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Oh, dear. Uh oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird! Oh, now she's sorry. I knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? <laughs> oh, a cloud retainer sets down the bags while Shinyu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills with the usual, usually tranquil environment of Mount uh, Isang. <sighs> so delicious! Paimon's life is complete! You're not full from breakfast? Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I'll be the one making it anyway. You can just help out. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Okay, uh, let's go and uh, to speak to everyone then. Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm, what shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Kami's searching for. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Okay, uh, let's speak to uh, Shinyu. <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. What's going on over here? <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Slacking. Okay, uh, check on. Oh, we need to go and speak to uh, these guys over here. Um, 
Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Seem a little bit counterproductive to have sensitive horns. Horns are usually a defensive weapon. You wouldn't really want them to be sensitive. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Okay, what, what are we getting into here? Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, alright. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh... Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just... Refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. Probably a good uh, decision by them. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. Okay, right, let's make one to ourselves. Am I going to get to choose stuff? That'd be awesome. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? Uh, the obvious answer is to make a pyramid shape shaped kite. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, a pyramid shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go! Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers! Did you just make that up, Paimon? You build the kite's frame according to Cloud Retain's instructions. Okay, <laughs> look at that. should we give her since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky uh, she look peace with herself she look afraid she should look guilty about something <laughs> at least she look pleased with herself Yeah, let me rethink this. Since the kite is going to be flying soup I want to see what some of the other ones are. Uh, she's look afraid. It's too high! Someone say Paimon! She's about to faint! Like that? <laughs> Maybe. I want to see what the, the other one is. is going to be uh, look guilty about something. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this, then. Mm, no, nah, I didn't like that one. Um, I want to go going to be flying. with. Uh, <laughs> we'll go happy. Ooh, like this? <laughs> yeah, we'll skip that. Yep, that's the one. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. Oh, well, let's see what this looks like. Gather around, everyone. Oh, Shenyun's calling us. Hmm. Let one take a look. Wow! Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Yep, the coloring makes it look a lot like Master. 
<laughs> if the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it on you? Oh, jeez, what happened? <laughs> you can't skip over details like that, come on. I did the painting. Oh dear. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Oh! Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way! You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow! The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Hmm. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. Hmm. Is that... The Jade Chamber? Oh? And who's made that one? Gentle breeze brushes past and the Jade Chamber drifts towards everyone's feet. Oh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery! <sighs> One simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was wondering what she was worrying about, but yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we got a uh, kite. Okay, so we can go over this way. Let's go. It'll be fun to be able to travel like this all the time. The speed in the air. Where are we going? Down, down here. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. <laughs> so these two. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> Your concern is misplaced, surely. I don't think so. The retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. Oh dear. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Oh, don't hear uh, uh, you say that. Still thy tongue. If Cloud <laughs> yeah. Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. <laughs> what? One presumes oh, that dear. this kite belongs to you. Huh? <laughs> Regard the situation in which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. 
one's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. <laughs> just think they're just... Are they, are they speaking telepathically here? That is not our kite. <laughs> just deny everything. Oh. Yeah. So an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Ah, mint! <laughs> He's well, terrible. And if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyan. Oh, the time we can give the game away here. Mooncarver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? Oh dear. You! <laughs> she. I think you did. It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. <laughs> then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> yeah, they're speaking the right words now. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Okay, we well, just got to go back to where we were. Okay, here we go. They're back. <gasps> My mind's pooped. Uh, hi. Why are there only two of you left? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Well, that's a bit of an insight into his thinking, yeah. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Yeah, perhaps he sees himself reflected in them. A reflection of himself? Oh. <sighs> If I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection. 
but lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Hm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh, worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Uh, I will take you up and you off them. I call dibs on Pyramid's portion. <laughs> it's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Uh, go to the abode entrance. Uh, okay, let's do that. You wait outside, Cloud retains abode for a few moments. <laughs> Feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. What have we walked in on here? Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? Um, I probably shouldn't say. I might get demonetized. <laughs> she asked them just like that. You look right. You look pretty too, Ganyu! Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined! Those outfits really suit you both! Because I'm not actually monetized anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. But anyway, uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. I mean, I've always been a fan of Shenhe anyway. She, um... It's a very nice character design, should we say. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. <laughs> one is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. I must be those clothes, they don't look comfortable. <laughs> but, uh, sure. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Are these the, um the new outfits that you can buy in the game. I guess they must be. You sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food and pleasant company. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! This golden crab is particularly good. The shell is deliciously crunchy and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating! Well, that's not uh, an unusual occurrence, is it, Paimon? It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. Yeah, it would be a close match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. 
It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> One has high standards. Standards which coming uh, could easily meet, I, I imagine. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yin? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Hmm. Paimon tells Clara retain everything she knows about Garmin's what? family. Yeah, so that's not really your story to tell, Paimon, but maybe maybe this will end up in a good place. This shall not do. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. You can put on a Rushi show. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adepto countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. <sighs> no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep! Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. <laughs> you are going to let, us, let me on, on uh, what it is? <sighs> oh, I guess we'll find out. Never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Brilliant, okay. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll leave it there then for today. If we get a break, yeah. So, um, yeah, a little bit longer episode than I was planning on doing, but I did want to kind of wrap it up uh, in one episode. And we have that extra little bit at the beginning there. So, uh, yeah, okay, fans, we've got one more episode then, I think, to uh, complete the next part, and that will be the Lantern Rite finished with. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this one uh, ends. Uh, so join me very, very soon for the next one. And then we're going to move on to new areas. I have some plans for what I want to do with some of the characters and team building and stuff which we'll get into very soon. So I can't wait for that. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.